You're listening to Tori Writer's She Said What podcast. I'm Tori, along with Marcy Persky. You know how easy it is to spot other people's problems? Same goes for their doomed marriages, which is why I missed my swim today. Meanwhile, Marcy Persky has the perfect grandbaby for now. What are the two things or three things that that trump whatever you had to do today that just make that list go straight out the window? Um, babysitting. Okay, would be one. A uh, sick animal would be two, and no vehicle would be three. So, one of my girlfriends has said over the years that there are really only two kinds of emergencies that a grown woman can get herself into, and these are one lying in hospital, and two bad man got her. So, oh no, a bad I, man got you? Not me, but my girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, called me as I was getting ready to head out the door to announce that she is getting divorced and to explain why. And it's really difficult when you watch somebody override the information telling you that they had a really bad husband one time because they really want it to work. I guess I'm probably the most judgmental person you know. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, but um, I know that I'm judgmental and I know that I'm a little bit mean. So when this person's husband many years ago did something that I would have considered a deal breaker, like pack your stuff and go, my friend, for perfectly reasonable reasons, said, no, I would like this to work. So I feel kind of bad that in the back of my mind, there's been this little timer going to like the CBS 60 Minutes, yeah. like tick, 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 tick. I have that in the back of my head. Because the same way that I don't believe that people get caught the very first time they drive drunk, right? I, I don't believe that when someone does get that ticket for drunk driving, it's the first time. No. Even if they tell you, oh, I'm sorry, I never did this before. So in somebody's marriage, if someone behaves really badly and gets caught, I also don't believe it's actually the first time. And, and and that's judgy and harsh and probably mean-spirited. But in the back of my head was tick, 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 tick. Yeah. See, I, I agree with you on that. And I also think that if you marry some guy who was married when you met him, you're a moron because he's going to do the same thing. Well, this this was not the case here. Perhaps going forward for this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I don't – here's the thing. I can – as they say in the current parlance, I can hold two things in my in my heart at the same time. One is that I am terribly upset for the pain that my girlfriend is going through. And the other part of me wants to know why I didn't go and break this guy's kneecaps before. I feel somehow that I should have been able to do something – to prevent the thing that I knew was going to happen because in the back of my head, as you have in the back of your head, you start hearing tick, yeah. tick, 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 tick. And you you want to save your friends from what you know is, or you believe you know is coming. But I don't, I don't know what a person can do once their friend says that they wish to press on. Does that make sense? Um. Yeah, but here's my question. Yeah. Why didn't you go swimming? <laughs> Did you go break because, his kneecaps? Because the call came just as I was walking out the door with my little bag. And oh, so okay. so you didn't like put a hammer in your little bag and <laughs> go over to her, her house. Oh, there's a thought. Why are had... those kneecaps? No, good idea. Why didn't no, I was listening to my friend who was calling to give me the information that she had discovered. And that's an emergency in my book. Yeah. It is. And I, I did, ran, by the way, randomly find a hammer today. Not doing a thing till the divorce papers are signed. Yeah. At the very least I could do is let the air out of his tires. So oh, that's the very yeah. least I can that's do. That's kind of wussy. Yeah. I, I'd you... go a little deeper than that. <laughs> My girlfriend is Maybe... so cool, though. She's so cool. The 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 co correspondent, I believe the, those are called in the papers. Is that what they're yes. called? Co-respondents? The correspondent 
has has a little bit of an online uh, profile, which my girlfriend dug up and is distributing to various <laughs> and sundry friends uh, because the co-respondent, let me put it this way. I went to school with a guy from New Jersey, smart guy, total joyzy accent. And we would walk around Boston. He would say, what the heck is with these whores? They got whores all over the <laughs> whore. She's yeah. a whore. <laughs> so my friend found all these pictures. And I, I haven't <laughs> dredged this word up since college. But there's no other word for this person, this correspondent. She's a whore. Is what she... <laughs> these days, it's pretty easy in some cases, not all cases, but in some cases, to, to get a little sense of the history of the correspondent. And yeah, I would, Google, ask Jeeves. I would, war, I would warrant you if he didn't start out as a customer, then he has no idea what he's about to get into. Yeah. <laughs> so this is, this is what then. I have to say and why I didn't swim today, because today I was hearing about the hua. What well, that? my mom was from um, Brooklyn. She was always correcting us because we're all Midwest kids. We oh. were all born in the Midwest. Right. And she uh, she ate oranges. <laughs> we ate oranges. 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 Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese was another one that drove her nuts. <laughs> and then her sister, my Aunt Bess, would call me Mossy. Of like, course. Boss, like like you, something bossy. you find at the base of a tree. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I get the whole accent thing. Yeah. But sometimes an accent sounds better when it's not yours. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I I remember I uh, applied for a job like way back when I first got out of college. Applied for a job for a big, at a big station in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And they told me they would hire me if I would go to a linguist. Because I had too much of a Michigan accent. For Indianapolis. Where I was born, by the way. So it's like, well, I, I politely said, no, thank you. Well, I don't know if I, if someone said to me that I had to go to a, a speech therapist or, or a speech coach <laughs> and change my speech to work in radio, I wonder what I would have said at the beginning of my career. That's Well, that's the only time I've ever been told that. You know, and, the, and yes, I know I sound like I came from Michigan, but then my husband, who came from Chicago, sounds like he came from L.A., brah. You know, <laughs> everyone thinks that he's from California. Okay, here's what I have to say. And I'm not saying this about Frankie. I'm just saying this in a general way. I think if you smoke enough pot, you sound like you come from California. <laughs> yes, Macaulay. No matter where you come from, you smoke enough pot, you sound like you come from California. I don't know if I told you or not, but I got a letter from our mortgage company. No, you haven't mentioned this. Think that their data was breached. Oh, boy. This was like a month ago. Oh, boy. And at first I like, freaked out. Then nothing happened. And so I just went, meh. And one of the problems, and we've talked about this before, is that I really, really honestly don't know any of my passwords. And I bought a book where I write them down. Good. But I haven't changed any of them, so they still have, like, two-year-old passwords, right? Uh-huh. So it will take me three years to find out what all my passwords are, to go through every all the rigmarole you have to go through. But now, in the last three days, I've gotten 15 messages from Facebook mm -hmm. asking me if I requested to change my password. Oh, dear. And... I say no every time, but I don't even know what my passport, what my password is. For. And to make it even worse, I had Eve set it up for me when she was like 12. Uh huh. And everything is like fuzzy bunny 12 kind of thing. Well, I told her don't use my real name because I didn't want people to find me. So she made up like this fake email address that. I can't. Do, I, it's, it, I don't want to lose my Facebook, but yeah, I, um, somebody's trying to hack into it. 
now pay, Facebook is telling me to change my email, which I don't know how to do unless I guess I make a third email address. Well, we're not having a tech seminar today. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing a <laughs> podcast today. I would like to thank the federal government for having a data leak that uh, gave my information. It's on the dark web. You know, it used to be that if a business screwed up, they had to make it right. Yep. And now all they do is they're like, we'll let you figure out how many ways it went wrong by giving you free access to see how many ways it's going wrong for a year. That's yeah, what they give this you. is like Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac they or should, one of the, uh, you know. They should give you your house for free. That's what they should do. I agree. Will you call them and tell them, please? They have no phone numbers. None of these places have phone numbers. <laughs> no, they don't. They have but, a, yeah, so the that's been my time is 75 days, 3 hours, and 67 minutes. Would you like to hold? <laughs> and on top of that, as far, too, as the passwords that I know, can you see this little book? Butters, um, Butters christened this book. This is the first thing that he ate when he joined the family. Butters the disobedient but, dog. dog, yes. Butters that left and now is back again. Yeah, that'll teach you to give away a dog to your daughter's boyfriend. Well, who knew? <laughs> That's all I have to say. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except that I knew that my girlfriend's husband was a sleaze bag. I did know that. Unlike your daughter's boyfriend, who sounds like a stand-up guy. Yeah. If he leaves, the dog leaves with him. That's all I have to say. Are you telling me that you're you're praying for the dissolution of that relationship? No, no, not at all. I said if. Okay. So, if. so you would be looking on the bright side then. If this partnership, I think that's what they call them these days. Yes. Partnerships. Well, there is not... like some kind of engagement planned right except for they have this well, loopy it, idea they're going to wait until the kid is like graduated from college or something yeah. so that he can pay for it yeah yeah something like that i don't know i don't understand kids these days right. i just want them off my lawn yeah i understand i want them yeah. off my lawn too then you don't even have a lawn you have sand well no we got lots we have five acres of cattle how are the and... cattle doing how, how are your cattle i took a picture yesterday of like one of the deepest cattle divots I have ever seen. This cat, this giant bull must have been like knee deep in mud to get this down that deep. But they're they're happy. They're fat and happy. And they're eating all my weeds because our snow has finally melted. Well, so they're useful then. They're making themselves useful. Well, kind of, sort of, yeah. Okay. My Frankie doesn't like their... Um, Excrement? Excrement. Yeah, they're they're giant, giant excrement. Yeah, I wouldn't like it either. But you know, we've pointed this out before that if you just wait till summer when it dries out, you can burn it for fuel. And you can um grow magic mushrooms. So yeah. your daughter has claimed. <laughs> Presumably she's doing less of this now that she has to be a responsible she's parent. Not doing any of that, no. Good. It's uh, the wrong my business. Life's gotten to be a lot in. more boring. Yeah. Well, you know, children bring a whole different kind of excitement. Yes. Yeah. I mean, when they do things, for example, like put the entire roll of toilet paper in the toilet when they're being potty trained. You know, stuff like that. Okay. Who needs magic mushrooms when you can experience a waterfall in your bathroom? So far, her kid is 180% better than she ever was. This baby sleeps this baby loves baths. I mean, he's just like this nice little baby. And I'd be waiting for the demon to I'd be I don't believe it. I, I I think the you're worst TikTok and I know you're going TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. I think the worst of everybody. That's right. Now I'm thinking tick 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 tick. You got it. Thanks for listening to the Tory Writers She Said What podcast. Since you've made it to the end, you might want to know that my book, She Said What? A Life on the Air, is not only available in print, but now also in complete audiobook form, narrated by me and available on Audible. 